Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this Commission Showcase video. I have a real treat for you today. We've got some Palanite Enforcers from Necromunda. Really, really cool models and I do hope that you're going to like them. Now, if you're new to Siege Studios YouTube channel, then firstly, welcome. Siege Studios is a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service with 30 painters who all paint from our bronze premium gaming level all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. If you are interested in commission, that's very simply all you need to do is head to the description of this video, click on the link next to where it says get a quote. That will take you directly to the Siege Studios website and our contact form. Once there, select all the relevant drop down options from those available for your project, and also in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format. We're back in a second to have a look at these awesome Necromunda Palanite Enforcers in more detail. See you guys back very shortly. So let's jump in, have a look at these Palanite Enforcers. Uh, Amy has been working on these, a really, really cool project to work on. Uh, obviously, these new models when they first came out look really, really great. And also as well, uh, for those of you out there that I have asked, yes, they are painted in a Judge Dread theme uh, as per our client's request, which is really, really cool, implementing that colorway and kind of vibe onto the models. Uh, so let's pull some forward so you can have a look at them. For a start, very, very, very detailed models. Uh, loads of little intricacies, like for example, the little screens on each wrist. Um, you've got the uh, sort of precinct markings and stuff on the front on this sort of central armor section. And then also on the back, you've also got the unique kind of like precinct number as well, or sort of uh, um, palanite number on the back as well, which has been put on. So they're just transfers. Uh, the cloth work is done really, really lovely, nice and soft as well, with various different colors all blended in there just to really add that soft kind of feel to them as well. Uh, nice, subtle contrast in the darker portions. Um, um, and then you can see obviously that Judge Dread kind of colorway with the red and gold and black sort of incorporated on the heads as well, which is really lovely. Plus obviously the combination of the blue uniform as well. Um, little red little details on the weapon barrels as well, which is really cool. Just taking that sort of vibe from the Judge Dread kind of theme. Uh, all the little screens and everything, as I mentioned, all painted and the lovely, lovely glowing eyes on the uh, on the helmets as well. So that's just uh, one of these awesome Palanite Enforcers. We're gonna move through, have a look at a few of them. So you've got this guy crouching here. Again, all the little screens and everything and buttons you can see all lit up there little accents and things on the guns done in a red his little torch as well that just shining away looking for a suspect or something uh, and then obviously you've got these screens as well and as you can see all the little screens have got little text and stuff on them just loads of names of criminals undoubtedly uh, and sort of hive scum but then uh, this guy's obviously crouching in a really really cool pose so that's just him we'll look at, f at this guy who's obviously got like a sniper rifle really really cool I love the uh, little scanning target thing that Amy's done on the wrist here as well uh, which is really lovely so that's just this dude here with a sniper rifle again that little red accent on the end of the barrel was really nice uh, just extra little details like that so that's just him and we'll have a look at the uh, Palanite Enforcer leader uh, as well as you can see here again really really cool lots of little details all the face painted with all the eyes and everything all done nice amount of subtle contrast in the on, on the head uh, kind of uh, glazed on sort of stubble on the side of his head as well which is really lovely uh, so that's just this uh, Enforcer leader you obviously got a holstered gun there with a leather pouch all the leather as detail and little chip, chips and scratches all done on that leather work as well which is really lovely uh, so that's just him and then we'll move through a couple more of these guys here just this chap here with a shotgun again all the little details from model to model finished in a really really crisp sharp finish as well which is lovely uh, so that's just a chap with a shotgun we've got a guy here with some cuffs uh by the appears like a, some, some kind of restraint and also a bolt gun as well which is really really cool obviously very powerful in necromunda uh you've got a grenade or something just on his waist there as well but all the leather work with scratches and sort of uh pittedness just to give it that sort of ancient kind of feel so that's just him uh we'll move through and have a look at a few more you've got another chap here just with a pistol uh, looking it's like he's scanning for a target or someone to shoot which is really cool We've got some cuffs as well just on his waist again all the little details done in a really really lovely fashion but every aspect of detail work fully painted to a very very supreme finish uh, so that's just uh, another one there and the final one we'll look at is this chap here with a menacing bolt gun as you can see i do like the drum mags on these as well and also at an angle just something very very different uh, makes them very unique and distinguished but you can see on the head there obviously that kind of judge dread kind of um kind of colorway uh, just done to really make them look like they are from that kind of background uh, i'm sure loads of people you know thought it'd be really cool to paint them in that kind of style and uh, our client obviously asked us to do it that way and we're really really happy to have had the chance to do it as well uh, so that is this awesome awesome gang or you know squad of palanite enforcers uh, do hope you like them we're back in a second to find out a bit more about them and also how to take a commission out with us here at siege see you guys back in a sec 
So thanks for checking the video out, guys. Really appreciate it ever so much. And I do hope that you like these Palanite Enforcers. I know Amy had a real fun time working on them, especially putting that Judge Dread kind of influence into them as well as per our client's request. Now, if you're interested in commissioning with us here at Siege, very simply, all you need to do is head to the description of the video uh, where it says get a quote. Click on that link. It takes you directly to our website and our contact form. Once there, select the relevant drop down options from those that are available. And in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format. Uh, and then we can get that. Once you fire that off to us, we can then come back to you with a quote. Now, if you are also looking to keep up to date with all the things that we do here at Siege, in the description, you can find the links to all our social media. So go give us a like and follow respectively on Instagram, Twitter, and also Facebook. And finally, while you're here on the YouTube, do us a big favor, give the video a thumbs up, hit the bell icon so you can keep updated when all of our new videos do go live. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you very soon on the next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.